It's still a political party defined in many ways by a woman who was elected leader 47 years ago. Long after she had left office in 1990, after 11 years in power, Margaret Thatcher was fated by the Tory party and her successors as Conservative leader. Dubbed the Iron Lady for her uncompromising leadership style, she created a political doctrine that became known as Thatcherism. I fought 11 elections uh, as a candidate myself. I won the lot. Like Orlotha, Margaret Thatcher was a conviction politician with a strong belief in deregulation, opening up free markets, low taxation and the privatisation of national industries. Coupled with an intense pride in Britain, both at home and abroad, values that are still held dear by the Conservatives, be it under David Cameron, Theresa May or the current Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Where they may differ is on the subject of Europe. You have done more than anyone else for the Conservative cause in Europe and to see that Britain's place is in Europe. Margaret Thatcher believed in the EEC as the European Union was then known. Her government backed the creation of the single European market, which removed barriers to trade, but opposed deeper integration and the growth of an EU federal state. But Euroscepticism was embedded in the Tory party under her reign in the 1980s. And an anti-European stance would manifest itself into a referendum and a Brexit vote 30 years later. We can see the sunlit meadows beyond. Unlike Margaret Thatcher's Tories, this party has been defined by leaving the EU. And in more recent times, a breakdown of trust primarily centred around its leader. Boris Johnson will be aware that no one in the recent political history of his party is held in higher esteem than Margaret Thatcher. But when she became a political liability, the downfall was swift and brutal. The instinct to axe an unpopular leader is one thing that hasn't changed. Francis Collings, TRT World.